On today's video, we're going to talk about something that's been a really big buzzword in the health and wellness community for a while, plastic. More specifically, plastic storage containers for your food. Because my viewers have a lot of questions, do they need to throw all their storage containers away? Should they only avoid heating food in plastic? What about food that comes in plastic containers? Well, today I'm going to shed light on all things plastic because it's an incredibly important topic. But first, I've got a question for you. What health-related topics are you curious about? Do you have questions about diet, exercise, the latest scientific study? Whatever's on your mind, drop me a comment below and let me know. After all, I put together this channel to help you live your healthiest life. So I want to make sure these videos are helpful for all my subscribers, including you. So make sure to leave your questions in the comments section below this video. Now, let's talk about plastic. First of all, if any of the plastic ware in your house still contains BPA, pause this video and throw it out now. See, BPA is incredibly toxic to your body. It's why plastics make the list of my seven deadly disruptors after all. When ingested, BPA mimics estrogen in the body and can throw off your hormonal balance, making you really sick. And of course, I don't want that. You don't deserve to get sick just because you saved money and packed leftovers to go. No one deserves that. Now, luckily, as the buzz about BPA became louder and louder, companies have started using it less. But that doesn't mean you're off the hook because other plastics are pretty terrible for your health too. In fact, as I write about, the BPA replacement, BPS, may be just as bad. Yikes! Now, in an ideal world, you ditch all the plastic in your home. That means buying glass containers for leftovers, as well as glass or ceramic dishware, or wood and paper for disposables and also rethinking things like zip-top bags and plastic wrap. Plus, that'd mean not buying food packaged in plastic containers. Even Gundry-approved things like pre-packed vegetables and good quality olive oil. See, not only would giving up plastic be amazing for your health, it'd be great for the planet. But I understand for most people, giving up plastic 100% of the time simply isn't realistic or affordable. So what can you do to keep plastic out of your kitchen and deadly disruptors out of your food while still living within your budget? Well, first of all, never ever heat your leftovers in a plastic container. If I had my way, you'd only use glass for leftovers or maybe cardboard and paper as well. But if there's no way around storing cold food in a plastic container, I get it. Just eat it cold or transfer it to a microwave safe ceramic bowl or plate before heating it up. You see, more scary compounds are transferred to your food if you cook in plastic. So by changing the way you heat food, especially in the microwave, you're taking a little extra care of your health. Now, before you scroll down and comment about the dangers of microwaves, let me just say, I'm not the biggest fan of microwaves myself. I didn't have one for years. But for some people, they're essential for keeping them on the plant paradox plan during the workday if they want a hot, compliant meal on the go. And honestly, if it comes down to either microwaving food or going off the plan completely, I'd rather people do their best and microwave their plant paradox compliant meals. It's that simple. Now, what should you do about food that comes in plastic containers? Well, actually, some of the foods on my yes list, like Costco pesto and almond flour, come in plastic containers. And it's not the end of the world. For stuff like almond flour, I suggest transferring the food to a glass container, like a storage jar, if you're going to take a while to go through the bag. It keeps things neater, and it's a little safer for your health. And for things like pesto, buffalo mozzarella, or even frozen wild-caught seafood, as long as you're using them quickly and aren't cooking or heating the food 
in the plastic, you're probably fine, especially for the stuff stored in the freezer. But what about stuff like olive oil and avocado oil that lasts a long time in your kitchen? Honestly, some Costco olive oils come in plastic containers, even an organic one. But the ones I suggest come in glass and is a tall square bottle. But here's the thing. I'm all about making the plant paradox as easy and reasonable as possible. And I understand for some people that means buying the plastic bottle of extra virgin olive oil. And if you must buy your olive oil in plastic instead of glass or metal containers, try this. Get the olive oil and a pack of reusable mason jars. Transfer the oil to the jars and seal them up. Then store them in a cool, dark place. Sure, that oil was stored in plastic, but at least you'll know it's still not in plastic for the long term. So you're protecting yourself from making it any worse. Of course, if you can swing the olive oil in glass or metal, that's certainly the better choice. But again, do whatever you need to do to make the Plant Paradox program work for you, even if your Plant Paradox approved food is stored in plastic from time to time. Just make sure you're not heating it in plastic, that you throw away all BPA, including BPA lined cans, and that if you must buy things in plastic, you use them fast or transfer to glass. And one last thing, we have a worldwide plastic recycling crisis. Nobody wants our plastic. China used to take most of it, but they can now make new plastic cheaper than recycling. And sadly, even biodegradable plastic may not be biodegradable at all. So whenever you can, buy things in paper or wax paper. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you. Mm -hmm.